Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the United States Army Recruiting Command FY 2014 Sergeant Bonnie Murphy and Margaret C. Corbin announcement ceremony. Our host for today's ceremony is Major General Alan W. Bachelet, Commanding General of the United States Army Recruiting Command. And joining us today is his spouse, Ms. Terry Bachelet. We would also like to welcome Colonel Promotable James Iacocca, Deputy Commanding Officer of the United States Army Recruiting Command, and Command Sergeant Major Willie Clemens, Command Sergeant Major of the United States Army Recruiting Command. Also joining us today through Google Hangout are the recruiting brigades and the Titans. Thank you for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host, Major General Alan W. Bachelet. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, oh, there's a small man sitting right here. All we need now is a little pony. Kelly's ordering one. Yeah, okay, good. All right, and look, uh, I'm going to lighten things up just a little bit. This isn't a you know, funeral here today. Those are sad occasions. This one is not. Um, it's, it was my great honor to observe some of the proceedings about uh, the Sardinard Murphy Board. And I got to tell you, uh, for those of you that work here in person, I sat in on probably three or four different sessions. And clearly a high standard was set by the board and the board members themselves. And so regardless of whether or not you were selected or not, the fact that you were here and competing, and we talked about this a little bit with, uh, when I had a chance to ask you some questions personally about why you're here, is that you know, just the journey makes you better as a non-commissioned officer. And the fact whether you were selected or not, while I know is important to each of you, um, the fact is that you self-selected to do something that your peers chose not to do because it's hard. And that sets you apart from each one of them. So uh, sometimes I've mentioned that I was I enlisted and rose to the exalted rank of Sergeant E5 and I was never good enough to be or compete for Sergeant Audie Murphy. So I personally you have my admiration and respect for your willingness to make such a commitment and to demonstrate that you are at the very top of your profession as non-commissioned officers. Um, and the last I mentioned that I did get to sit on each one of the a number of your interviews and what I was struck with the most was not just the answers to the questions but more importantly your commitment and passion to being a soldier and a non-commissioned officer. And I made mention of that to the sergeant majors at the end that if we were able to find uh, every NCO in the Army to demonstrate the level of commitment and passion that you all bring to being a professional non-commissioned officer, no one more professional than I. Um, there would, you know, the best Army in the world would be so much better yet if we could extend what you all have inside of you to every soldier that we have in the Army. So my congratulations to each of you in advance and uh, I think we're going to get on with the rest of the ceremony. All right? Whoa. Thank you, sir. This afternoon we are recognizing soldiers from across the command who competed this week for induction into the prestigious Sergeant Audie Murphy Club. And also we'll be announcing the Army spouses selected for the Margaret C. Corbin Award. Prior to soldiers competing at the headquarters of the United States Army Recruiting Command Sergeant Audie Murphy Board, soldiers endured numerous hours of preparation in order to make their appearances before their battalion and brigade boards. These soldiers before you are some of the best and brightest in this command, and they should be proud of their accomplishments. On 17 August, 24 soldiers arrived and were evaluated in several areas, culminating with a personal appearance before the board consisting of seven sergeants major, all of which are Sergeant Audie Murphy or Sergeant Morales inductees. Soldiers began the competition with the Army Physical Fitness Test, needing to achieve 90 points in each event in order to move forward in the competition. 17 of those soldiers achieved this standard and moved forward to qualify with the M4 Series carbine using the virtual training facility engagement skills trainer. Soldiers needed to zero their weapons and qualify using three tables, prone supported, prone unsupported, and kneeling using the iron sights aiming device. Scoring for these events was determined using the Army Regulation 600-8-19, Table 3-19, Weapons Qualification, 
and Table 3-20 Army Physical Fitness Test. Additionally, soldiers took a written exam consisting of 100 questions derived from Army regulations, Army doctrine publications, Army doctrine reference publications, and field manuals. Soldiers also completed a written essay to evaluate their knowledge base and thought process in reference to NCO 2020. Soldiers proceeded to the personal appearance portion of the board, where board members challenged soldiers' knowledge in several subject areas. The Board of Sergeants Major presented soldiers situational questions derived from the Army regulations, doctrine publications, doctrine reference publications, and bill menus, in addition to presenting situations for the soldiers to apply critical thinking skills. At this time, please join me in watching our soldiers in action during this week's competition.
At this time, we make the general bachelorette and commence our major Clemens come forward to recognize and present awards to the following non-commissioned officers selected for induction to the Sergeant Adam Murphy Club. <laughs> Today, soldiers are receiving an Army Commendation Medal and Soldier of Valor print for their accomplishments. The formal induction ceremony will be for December of 2014. Will the following non-commissioned officers please move forward to the stage for recognition as your name is read. Sergeant First Class Shogonda Shields, Harrisburg Recruiting Battalion, 1st Recruiting Brigade. Staff Sergeant Shields, Recruiting Battalion, 1st Recruiting Brigade. Sergeant First Class Brian Tube, Minneapolis Recruiting Battalion, 3rd Recruiting Brigade. Sergeant First Class Godfrey, O. Tiendo, San Antonio Recruiting Battalion, 5th Recruiting Brigade, and Staff Sergeant Justin Austin, San Antonio Recruiting Battalion, 5th Recruiting Brigade. Please remain seated as the award citation is read and awards are being presented to each soldier. The Army Commendation Medal is presented for exceptionally meritorious achievement during the U.S. Army Recruiting Command Sergeant Audrey Murphy Board conducted 18 through 22 in August. Your understanding of leadership issues and vast knowledge of Army regulations and field manuals were instrumental in your selection into the United States Army Recruiting Plan to start with Army Murphy Club. Your accomplishments reflect great credit upon you, the United States Army Recruiting Command, and the United States Army. Signed, Alan W. Bachelet, Major General Commanding. Sergeant First Class Melanie Williams, Los Angeles Recruiting Battalion, 6th Recruiting Battalion. Staff Sergeant Selena Flores, Los Angeles Recruiting Battalion, 6th Staff Sergeant Jose Mondragon, Phoenix Recruiting Battalion. And Staff Sergeant Graham Mullins, Sacramento Recruiting
At this time, we would like to announce our Margaret C. Corbin Award recipients for fiscal year 2014. Recipients will attend the Sergeant Audie Murphy induction ceremony and receive recognition for their accomplishments. The Margaret C. Corbin Award is a prestigious award to recognize volunteer service that makes a substantial contribution and has a positive impact on the quality of life for soldiers and their families. Spouses, male and female, of soldiers of all ranks assigned to Trailock elements, active army, U.S. Army National Guard, U.S. Army Reserve, are eligible. All volunteers will have equal eligibility without consideration of military members' rank and position. The intent of this award is to recognize those eligible spouses whose service to our country is in the form of volunteering and is often behind the scenes. Their way of life is marked by efforts to improve their communities and enhance the overall military lifestyle. Board members reviewed candidates, packets, and considered and were considered and submitted by each brigade and the selection was based on the following criteria. Volunteers should have been an active member, supporter of unit family readiness group or an individual who is actively supports, excuse me, actively supports a military organization that does not have an organized family readiness group. Volunteer service must directly benefit soldiers and or their families or be readily identified as bringing great credit to the Army family. A level of individual sacrifice and dedication. Merit, quality, impact of volunteer accomplishments, contributions is also considered, in addition to the length of time spent in the volunteer position or a number of volunteer hours. The following Army spouses are selected to receive the Margaret C. Corbin Award. Mrs. Kathy Clark from the Albany Recruiting Battalion, 1st Recruiting Brigade. Mrs. Christy. Mrs. Christy Shaver, 3rd Recruiting Brigade. Mrs. Stephanie Casper, Southern California Battalion, 6th Recruiting Brigade. 
This is Rachel Dodd, Salt Lake City Recruiting Battalion, 6th Recruiting Brigade. <laughs> and this is Danielle Sporns, Seattle Recruiting Battalion, 6th Recruiting Brigade. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Command Sergeant Major Clemens. How's everybody doing? Oh. Oh. You know, a lot of times we have these different types of ceremonies. Everybody wants to be real quiet, very, very formal, but. This is not a time for sadness, a time for celebration. So if you want to clap, you want to sh you know, shout somebody's name, by all means do so. I know we came up in an army sometimes, we want to be very, very formalized. But I'll tell you, being in the army after 30 years, you want to have fun. <laughs> in events like this, you want to have fun. For those individuals that did not get selected, I'll tell you, you, you did an outstanding job. That bullet was tough. I know it was. But you cannot be discouraged and not come back. I expect to see you at the next board that we held for this command, right? right? So before I move any further, for those that did not get selected, come up on stage. Oh. tell you is one thing I expressed to the entire group. It is a prestigious club that you want to be selected to enter. But if you have the criteria to relax, what's the purpose of the title being a prestigious club? They all understood that. They all said the same thing that really impressed me. If they did not get selected, just going through the process itself has made them a better person than better than me. So that I truly appreciate your professionalism. Again, I expect to see you back. So I want to give you 20 guys one of my coins of excellence, okay? said the same thing. You are a, a glimpse of our future. We're in good hands. Oh. And I tell you, you are. Uh, the CG and I are very, very proud of you. You all perform magnificently. And I would just ask you, when, as you go back out to your organizations, take the knowledge and experience that you took from this particular event and pass it on to your fellow soldiers and peers, okay? Mentor those that you have the charge of and responsibility given to you by your commanders. Don't take that responsibility lightly. You got some outstanding commanders out there, as well as CSM and Sergeant Majors, First Sergeant. They are dependent on you to ensure that we take the CG's priorities and take it home. We're going to fall a little short, probably on the reserve side of the house, but I am very confident in this next FY, we're going to cross the line on both sides. But it's going to take all of us to get out of this mission. It's going to take that dedication that you showed us as a panel out there to get back out to the field and show your peers that same dedication and commitment. So again, on behalf of the Commanding General and myself, thank you for your participation and thanks all the brigades out there, battalion command teams, for doing a phenomenal job preparing your soldiers to meet this board's criteria. And again, thank you. At this time, I would like all the soldiers to come forward onto the stage. Hey, leave your, leave this. <laughs> We're not going to put them on eBay. We need to take them. Can you just kind of make one line? <laughs> or I wonder what to do. That's the spin around off the stage. That was easy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have another round of applause. Yeah. On behalf of Major General Jackson, Command Sergeant Major Clemens, I would like you to, to invite you to come forward and congratulate our Sergeant Audie Murphy.
inductees and the soldiers who participated in the board this year.